Hello and welcome. My name is Joanna and this is How We School. If this is your first time here, I'm a mom to a 10 year old who I homeschool and I have two older kids who are in their early 20s who went through public school. It's kind of how we got to homeschooling <laughs> uh, with our younger one. Um, today I'm going to be sharing uh, books for Black History Month. I did a video prior to this one with uh, picture books for Black History Month. And this video in particular will be chapter books, middle grade books, young adult, adult, and also showing how you compare some books together for your whole family, for all ages, which is so something kind of important for me um, when I had my older kids in the house and my son was a little younger. You know, you wanna find a way to kind of incorporate everyone, right? First thing I'm gonna start with is chapter books for the younger crowd. Um, first one I have is a fictional book. It's Anna Hibiscus by Antunic. I'm not sure if I pronounced that wrong. If I pronounce names wrong, I'm going to apologize in advance. And once I know how to say the names correctly, I will definitely make sure I am working on pronouncing names correctly. So Anna Hibiscus lives in Africa, amazing Africa. She lives with her whole family in a wonderful house. There was always somebody to laugh or play with. She loves to splash in the sea with her cousins and have parties for her aunties. But more than anything else in the world, Anna would love to see snow. So sweet little uh, chapter books. So maybe your child will read it on their own or it could be a read aloud. Um, I don't know what ages this is for, but I'll say five and up. Also, Another thing I'm going to share later is more fictional books just featuring black characters. It's so important to make sure that you are having those windows and mirrors in your home for your child, for your family to also have. So, Anna Hibiscus. All right, on to nonfiction. What are you figuring now? A story about Benjamin Banneker by Jerry Ferris and illustrated by Amy Johnson. This is a Creative Minds biography. So, it's a chapter book. These two are in the same series. These are Candlewick biographies. First one is Skit Scat Red Raggedy Cat Ella Fitzgerald by Roxanne Orgill. My son is very big on Ella Fitzgerald. Uh, Vision of Beauty, the story of Sarah Breed Love Walker or Madam C.J. Walker. And these are also chapter books. This one's in color. This one's in black and white. Oh, I thought it was. I don't know why I thought it was in black and white. No, nope, it's in color. I might be thinking of another book I have on Madam C.J. Walker. Okay. Some of these books you might have seen in my other video prior to this one, just because I wanted to share them, but I'm going to share them again. Um, she Persisted, Claudette Colvin by Lisa Klein Ransom. And there's more in this series, of course, that you can get. Little chapter books. The Extraordinary Life of Katherine Johnson. And also there's more in this series as well. I think I, for my last video, I shared the Serena Williams one. So these are really nice. The Who HQ books are perfect. And I think these are pretty family style as well because while they're for the younger crowd, if you read them out loud, I mean, my 10 year old son still loves these, but I think they're good for five and up. So this one is Who Was Jackie Robinson? My son is a big Jackie Robinson fan. So, VIP, very important person, Lewis Latimer, Engineering Wizard by Denise Lewis Patrick. Another chapter book. Madam C.J. Walker Builds a Business. These are the Rebel Girls books. So, it does have some pictures. Of course, I'm probably not going to find one right now. There's a few illustrations, but you get the point. It's a chapter book. Uh, last one, Discovering he, uh, discovering History's Heroes, Ida B. Wells, Fighter for Justice by Diane Bailey. It's just a chapter book. Um, I see another book in this series. I don't know if there's only one more, but this is the only one I have. Okay, uh, moving on to, I'm gonna move on to, I'm gonna move on to middle grade books. So here's one, uh, Harriet Tubman, Conductor on the Underground Railroad by Anne Petrie. And if you saw my other video, you will also know that I love Kadir Nelson's work. And of course he did the cover art on this book. This is definitely a middle grader up book.
uh, Streetcar to Justice, How Elizabeth Jennings Won the Right to Ride in New York by Amy Hill Hart. So, another one. Becoming Billy Holiday by Carol Boston Weatherford and art by Floyd Cooper. I believe this one's written in verse. Gosh, look at the art first. Okay. Yes, it is written in verse. That's correct. I remembered that correctly. So. Um, I'm going to move on to graphic novels. Let's do graphic novels. So this is one my son read and he definitely recommends. I'm supposed to read it. It's on my TBR. He said, I have to read this book. When Stars Are Scattered by Victoria Jameson and Omar Muhammad. And it is a true story in a graphic novel form. And he said it is the most moving book he's read and that I will definitely be crying with this book. Another graphic novel is uh, Great Lives, Martin Luther King Jr., A Graphic History of America's Great Civil Rights Leader by Rachel Ruiz and illustrations by Fiona Dunn and Sarah Skeet. So I don't think he's read this one yet. I can't remember. He's read a couple of these. So I don't know if this is one of the ones he's actually read. Probably should have consulted him before I did this video. Um, this is one we haven't read yet. It's a trilogy, but I have it for when we are doing the Civil Rights Movement. Um, and this is March by John Lewis and Andrew Aiden and Nate Powell. So these are in black and white, but they are graphic novels. And what a great way, right, to teach your child about the uh, civil rights movement. And about John Lewis as well. Okay, put that down. I'm going to do these books that have you know, like a compilation of people. Um, black Heroes, 51 Inspiring People from Ancient Africa to Modern Day USA, a Black History Book for Kids by Arlisha Norwood. So, you know, your kids can totally, oh, look, I opened up on Man and C.J. Walker. <laughs> your kids can totally read this on their own if they are middle grade and up. You know, you can pick, you don't have to read all 51. And then I love that they have the Explore More here and they usually have a quote from that person. So I actually really like this book. The Fierce 44 Amer Black Americans Who Shook Up the World by the Staff of the Undefeated and Portraits by Robert Ball. And lastly, Black Music Greats 40 Inspiring Icons. Another one your child can read on their own, or if you are studying music, or this is a great one to have. I think like these, like these books right here, I like these for uh, morning baskets in my home because we will read one to two each morning or it's a morning basket, but we use it any, whenever we actually get to it. Sometimes morning makes it, makes me feel like I have too much on my plate if I do it in the morning, but I love these kind of books for that. And that's ex specifically why I buy these books. Not that we sit and read these. My son can sit and read these on his own, but I buy these mostly for our basket. All right, I'm going to move on to this one first. <laughs> I just have this book and it's a lovely book and you can use this with your whole family. It's her stories, African-American folk tales, fairy tales, and true tales, told by Virginia Ham Hamilton and illustrated by Leo and Diane Dillon. And it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see, I wanna open up to a picture, to an illustration, not to a, just the words. So another one that would be great in a basket for this month, for Black History Month. I'm gonna move on to history books. This is a chapter book, Black Heroes of the American Revolution by Burke Davis. We're currently reading this one. Do it over there on my pile of books to make sure I bring back upstairs with me. Brown vs. Board of Education, A Fight for a Simple Justice by Susan Goldman Rubin. Another good one for history. Another one you could probably do with your family. I have a lot of these books set up for when we hit these times 
um, each period in history. I try to start collecting ahead so I'm not trying to buy it all at once. But then new books come out and it makes it so hard because then you want those as well. <laughs> Timelines from Black History, Leaders, Legends, Legacies by DK. And of course, we love a timeline in my house. So this book is perfect for us. Can you see that? Yes, you can. More for history. Answering the Cry for Freedom, Stories of African Americans and the American Revolution by Gretchen Wolfel and illustrations by R. Gregory Christie. This is completely in black and white. It's very big. Again, this is a nice one for a morning basket or something like that because each chapter is on a person. So I really like that. Let me see. I'm trying to get to the beginning of the chapter that I've opened up on. Here we go. This one's on Una Judge. Oh, I'm going to be sharing some books on her in a second. <laughs> so, and so this is uh, one we're currently going to put in our basket as well. Heart and Soul, the Story of America and African Americans by Kadir Nelson. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. Every home should have it. Please get this book. If it's the only one you get, it will, you can, you know, black history is American history. So make sure you're sharing it through all your history studies. You can't study American history without it. How do how would you do that? So it's a beautiful one and it's, it's a bigger one. So either it says ages nine and up. So that's why I said like middle grade, but you can share it with your family as well. And lastly for the history ones is Fort Mose and the story of the man who built the first free black settlement in colonial America by Glenette Tilly Turner. Next, I'm going to do some non, not non, I'm sorry, some fiction books. For you guys um this one is a historical fiction um writing on duke's train and travels with louis so you have duke ellington and louis armstrong is who the character is with the main character is spending time with these people so music middle grade historical fiction another his um not historical another uh fictional book is roll of thunder hear my cry by mildred d taylor I have yet to read this one, but I'm hoping by the end of the year we read this. It's on my TBR. These are some fictional books that are my, my son picked out because for this video for me. One, because the main character is African American and the, the author as well. So having books not just sh um, showing a black character, but also knowing that the author is black is is a great thing you want to you know make sure that you're buying from diverse authors for your home that you know you're showing you're sh you're showing your child different authors and different books again the windows and mirrors you hear it all the time from people and it's true this one my son absolutely loves there is two right now currently in the series we've pre-ordered the third one comes out this year i can't remember when i want to say april but don't quote me this is new kid by jerry craft and this is a graphic novel and he loves it i can't remember what the second one was new kid and i don't remember the second one and my son's not here to tell me but he absolutely loves these amari and the knight brothers by bb austin and as of right now there's two in this series my son absolutely loved this book i like the first one better than the second but they're both really good but the first one is amazing Dragons in a Bag by Zeta Elliott, or Zeta, I'm not quite sure. He loves this. There are three books in this series. Three? Yes, three. I'm looking at the, the series I, um, up there, and there's a fourth one coming out. Another book he wants to reorder. <laughs> the Marvelers by Don, Danielle Clayton. My son loved this book. It's a good one. He... Um, couldn't get enough of it. He absolutely loved this. The Marvelers. And I haven't talked to him since he finished this book about this book, but he did finish it. Futureland Battle for the Park by H.D. Hunter. And he loved these pages too. Let me see if I can find one. Of course, he showed me them. 
So that I did get to see. Oh, am I gonna find one now that I wanna show you? Here we go. Almost like a comic book page. So he really enjoyed those. Well, I'm not sure about this one, but he, 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 I have to ask him. But he wasn't complaining and he was reading it. So that makes me think, and he didn't DNF it. So it makes me think he really enjoyed it. All right, now I'm gonna maybe just, not maybe, I'm gonna go into books that you can, um, or I guess, yes, people, different topics and things that you can share as a family. First one I'm gonna do is W. Johnson Roundtree um, for middle grade, Mighty Justice, The Untold Story of Civil Rights Trailblazer, Debbie Johnson Roundtree, writ written by her and adapted by Jabari Asim. So, for the older crowd. And then I shared this in my picture books and this was also written by her about her and her grandmother. So you can have, you know, everyone in the family reading something written by the same person. Another one is Muhammad Ali, A Champion is Born by Jean Beretta for the younger ones. And for the older ones, this is more middle grade, is Becoming Muhammad Ali, A Novel by James Patterson and Kwame Alexander. Look at that. Don't those look great together? And while this is a picture book, this is written in verse. My son read this one. So it's got some illustrations. Yeah. So I think this would be a great pair together. Uh, Una Judge for your teen and adults, Never Caught, The Washington's Relentless Pursuit of Their Runaway Slave Una Judge by Erica Armstrong Dunbar. And then you have your, rung, your young reader's edition of Never Caught, The Story of Una Judge. So a teen, adult, and then you've got your young reader's edition. So it's for middle grade. Then for your younger ones, you can read Run Away, The Daring Escape of Una Judge by Ray Anthony Shepard. So you can really get everyone in on this one. And lastly is baseball. As I said, we love baseball and sports here. So 42 is not just a number, Doreen Rappaport. So for middle grade, it says The Odyssey of Jackie Robinson, American Hero. So it is eight middle grade book. Yep, it says 8 to 12 on the back. Picture book. I had a different Jackie Robinson picture book out yesterday for the other video I did, so I'm pulling out a new one <laughs> for this video. The United States vs. Jackie Robinson by Sudipta Barthan Kualan. So, any picture book on Jackie Robinson would work. And for the whole family together. I shared this in the last video. We love this book. We Are the Ship, the story of Negro League Baseball Words and Paintings by Kadir Nelson. And oh, this is a great one to have. So definitely a great way to incorporate baseball. I'm trying to open up to a picture. Here's a great one. Hope you, yeah. And let's see if I can open up to one more. Of course I didn't. Oh, I'm just gonna give myself a paper cut here while I'm at it. Yep, so. All right, that's what I have for you all today. Thank you guys so much for coming and spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it always. I love sharing books if you can't tell. So anytime I have an excuse to share some books, I will. Um, I hope you guys found something that you'd love to add to your home or you'd love to borrow from your library. Let me know what you guys are reading. I want to know what books you have planned for Black History Month or for your American history, which is what we're studying this year. So I'm, I love hearing what other people are using. Um, and again, thank you so much for stopping by. All right. Bye.